So someone on uh, Reddit guitar, uh, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash guitar um, <coughs> was asking about uh, pain that you get in your thumb when you're playing power chords. Uh, and it got me thinking about uh, some habits that I've managed to break over the years with regards to uh, fatigue and sort of holding the guitar in the right position and stuff. And I realized it was actually quite difficult to explain in text message. So uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video. From what I could work out from what the guy was saying in his comments, um, he was getting pain in his thumb on this hand because of the way that he was holding the guitar. Uh, and I remember having that habit myself once upon a time and breaking it with a couple of things that I now do without thinking uh, that are actually more efficient way of playing. So um, one of the things I tried to explain to the guy was rather than thinking of the fretboard in groups of three, try and think of the fretboard in groups of four. So you're placing all four fingers across the frets. And have them have each four fingers available on every fret as much as you possibly can. Now, how does this relate to power chords? Well, there's G, there's D, there's A. You notice I'm keeping this uh, center finger free. Another thing to try is to also try playing power chords with different fingers. So there, that's actually quite awkward. But I see a lot of people doing it. However, you can also do it with your second finger on the root and your fourth finger on the, in this case, uh, E and A octave. So you've got these two fingers in, in the center available for doing other stuff. You can also do it with your third finger, which is... Um, so the, the blue scale thing there, if you're thinking in terms of only four fingers available, then if you think of the, the starting note as being with your third finger, there's all kinds of starting and finishing points that you can land on within the major scale to get other interesting tones. So that's another reason to start thinking about the fretboard in flat four finger terms and as for the pain in your thumb thing you'll notice that i can play most of that stuff without using my thumb at all except for that one wrong note in there and that's because all of the pressure necessary for holding down the string from from this hand is, is coming from the fingers themselves rather than the thumb I can leave my thumb just relaxed around the back of the neck and bring it around whenever I need to, for maybe for a power chord, like the Hendrix chord, you know. And the flat finger thing also, just to quickly mention, is also really neat for thinking of your first finger as the sort of the fret below the chord, if you like. So let's play a power chord with just the second and fourth fingers. Then I've also got this first finger available behind there for the rest of the major scale, so. I hope you get the idea. usual sound here so I'm not able to play very well because all my gear is in the van see the way there's just those four fingers covering those all those frets for those different voicings Ooh, 
Easy. <laughs> nice card. 